I'm really interested in artists and I had found some pictures of Constantine Brancusi and Giacometti in their studios, the fact of all the textures that the artists were surrounded with. So so that's what I started looking at. Because they were both sculptors, they were surrounded by either clay or these big blocks of marble. So I started researching the textures, looking at fabrics that maybe could recreate those textures. So it's all kind of something organic. It all starts off with one image, which is an inspiration. And then I start kind of brainstorming and doing a bit of a spider webbing around the image, trying to find other links, but also trying to see at contemporary fashion, trying to find something that is parallel with the image that I found. You know, what people are wearing on the street by looking at everyday fashion. I look at the shapes of what the men's shirts or men's tailoring is happening at the moment. We're designing something which is going to be worn in about a year and a half's time. So we're almost trying to predict the future with clothes. So it's really sourcing what is going to happen in those two years' time. Technology-wise, is something going to happen how is this going to affect the design? How is it going to make the product interesting and new in two years' time? We're ultimately trying to design something which would be the perfect fit, the perfect shirt. But there is lots that kind of intervenes. It's always constantly tweaking and changing. Everything works on paper, but when, you know, in 2D, everything's amazing. But the minute you actually start putting it on the body, the person then starts moving. You need to see if the movement is fine, if the fit is fine. Is I would say maybe we would need two or sometimes three fittings before completely satisfied with the garment and I can actually give it to the factory to be made. I'm not loud with my colours. My colour palettes are usually quite, you know, white, greys and black because I'm looking at studios and artists. It's very much about the colour of the clay and natural colours. Usually I'm quite utilitarian and minimalism in style and it's really honing in on the details. Whenever I find myself blocked, I always think of Miyucha Prada because she starts every collection with a color that she does not like. And I think that, you know, she's done these most amazing collections. If she can actually be so successful starting off with a color she doesn't like, it's not really a block.